Something that may surprise you about today's video is the amount of items that are within my capsule wardrobe. Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back to Closet Ecology, where we practice mindful consumption and luxury minimalism. So if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Today's video is a really exciting video. It's something that I've wanted to film for a long time, and that is to share with all of you my current 2022 spring capsule wardrobe. The other reason I'm sharing this capsule wardrobe with you is because I feel like this is much more of a realistic approach that other people can relate to, other people can duplicate. I think a lot of times the narrative that gets pushed out there about capsule wardrobes is more of the extreme side where people go down to really minimal amounts of stuff. And while of course that does work for some people, for others, it's just not practical. Spoiler alert, it's 50 items within my capsule wardrobe. While the amount that I shared with you that is within my capsule wardrobe may seem like a lot, it really isn't when you break things down. I am somebody who truly lives in an area where there are four seasons. And within those four seasons, sometimes the weather can change dramatically on a daily basis. I've got 17 tops, three belts, nine bottoms, seven shoes, nine handbags, and five coats. What you are not going to see in this video is my jewelry. Uh, I have made an entire video talking about my jewelry collection. Jewelry is something that I am open about not being minimal about. I'm not going to be showing some extras within my wardrobe, which include my cashmere sweaters. Another thing I wanna note is handbags. So I have nine that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. And these are nine handbags that I'm going to be having in heavy rotation in the spring season. This is not my entire handbag collection. And there are a couple of my handbags that I am bringing out of my rotation because I want to give them a break or they need to be repaired. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really hope you enjoy this video and let's take a look into what is in my capsule wardrobe for spring 2022. We're gonna start off with my personal favorite category, which is tops. This first t-shirt I'm gonna share with you is from And Other Stories. I've really been loving the fit of this. I also recently picked up this t-shirt from Everlane that is more crop than I'm used to, but I'm definitely liking it a lot. And then I have this cheapy t-shirt from a department store that will be probably worn out by the time the season is over. I also have a tank top, which is a great layering piece. I don't wear this alone. I typically wear it with a jean jacket or with some type of t-shirt over top. For long sleeve tees, I have this basic long sleeve white tee. I also have this striped t-shirt that I'm not super crazy about, but we're gonna try to style it this season. I also have my absolute favorite Pima cotton t-shirt from Madewell. And I actually have this in gray as well. I've got a slightly cropped long sleeve black tee from Aritzia. This is something I recently thrifted. It's this crochet piece from Free People. I'm trying it out. Not sure how I feel about it yet, but we'll see how it goes. I also have this abstract cheetah print lightweight cotton sweater from J. Crew, and this lightweight v-neck sweater from Aritzia. For blouses, I have this beautiful top from Joie. This is something that I found recently for a great price. I also have a bit of a rule breaker here. Um, typically, I don't allow myself to go for florals because uh, they just don't work out for me historically. But you guys, check out the details on this Rebecca Taylor blouse I thrifted. I'm definitely going to give it a shot this season and see how it works out. 
I also have my Lafayette 148 blouse that I thrifted. This amazing piece from Cezanne that I also thrifted. I think it's called the Alex blouse. And this thrifted plaid blouse from Ralph Lauren. I've got three belts in my spring capsule wardrobe. The first one is this thrifted kind of almost Western whip stitch type of belt. The next one is from Madewell. Uh, I really love that little wrap detail that it has on it. And then a fairly recent purchase, which is my Isabel Morant Leche or Leche belt. This thing is incredible, you guys. I can't wait to, to give a dedicated review on it because it really deserves one. We're gonna move on to bottoms. Starting off with my holy grail pair of denim, which is the Madewell Perfect Vintage Jeans. I also have this pair of straight leg denim that I recently thrifted. It's from a fast fashion brand that I don't recommend, so I won't even bother mentioning it. I finally found my perfect pair of overalls. You guys, I am so excited to wear these this season. And of course, we can't forget my Cezanne Austin trousers, which was a splurge, but honestly, well worth the investment. This pair of pants is just incredible, very versatile, and incredibly comfortable to wear as well. I also have a pair of linen trousers that I thrifted. I paid a dollar for these, you guys, uh, and they're from Bryn Walker, which is a very expensive brand. I also have my Holy Grail joggers, which are from Lululemon. These are well worth the price point, you guys. And then I have these uh, Banana Republic trousers that are kind of like that athletic material. So they're like insanely comfortable, uh, but they look like a trouser. So these are really awesome. I thrifted them. I have my incredible navy blue Hugo Boss trousers that I thrifted and had tailored to fit me like a glove. And then I have a gray pair of wool trousers. These are vintage pleated front, amazing, paid $5 for them, zero regrets. Now it's time to show you the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing this season. The first pair being these Vivaya sneakers that I wear literally all the time. They are just a complete staple in my wardrobe. They're so comfortable, they are easy to maintain and uh, really have zero complaints about these shoes, you guys. I've talked about them many times, have videos on this brand on my channel, so if you're curious, I will link that for you. I also have this pair of suede sneakers from Vince. These were kind of a purchase fail, as you can see the damage on the back of them. These were from Nordstrom Rack. They are like a seconds quality or like a diffusion line quality shoe. They're not typical Vince quality, so would not recommend, but I am going to wear them out. They'll probably be done at the end of this season. I also have a pair of sneakers from Vionic. I really like these a lot, uh, but they're hard to keep clean. It's not really showing up on camera, but even with a magic eraser, I'm having a really hard time keeping the white parts white. So if you have any suggestions, leave it down below for me. This is my current favorite pair of loafers from Vivaya. These are amazing. I love like the unique cartoony vibes that they give. Um, they're really cool and insanely comfortable as always with this brand. And then I also have a black pair of loafers from Vivaya as well. These are great. You know, a black is a neutral staple in my wardrobe and these are really easy to wear and style. I've got a pair of flats from a brand called Me Too. I used to swear by this brand when I worked in retail because they are so comfortable. I like this kind of hybrid flat uh, loafer style. I think it's really cute and I've had these for a few seasons and I really like them. Last but not least, I have my Sarah Flint Perfect Pump 50s in the taupe suede. I cannot wait to share more about these shoes with you guys because they are incredible. This is a designer shoe brand worth knowing about. They fit my wide feet like a dream and they are insanely comfortable, you guys. So more on that later, but can't wait to wear these pumps this season. 
It's time to move on to handbags. First up is my amazing vintage Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Speedy. This color is everything, you guys. I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Now it's also time to have my Fendi Baguette make her debut. She is a versatile gal and she can turn into a clutch in an instant and also back into a baguette. This is one of my most favorite bags in my collection. I also have my Longchamp Leflin crossbody. That is a recent purchase and I'm smitten with it. I also have my Gucci Soho Disco, which is an oldie but a goodie, a another recent purchase for me. I also have my Louis Vuitton Musette Tango. I have the extender strap on it right now. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and link that video for you. I also have this Lululemon belt bag that I wear like a fanny pack because I'm cool like that. And I have this awesome little tote that I got from J. Crew for a great price. I have my trusty festival bag from Lululemon. This is a must have for those rainy spring days. And my Longchamp backpack, which is essential for the season. Moving on to coats, of course, I have a Burberry trench to share with you. I found the perfect one on eBay for a steal. This is a spring staple. I also have my favorite upcycled thrifted jacket that a lot of people don't like, but I don't really care because I love it. I have this houndstooth distressed coat from Free People that is also thrifted and incredible. I love this thing, you guys. It is such a statement piece and something that I truly cherish. I also have a denim jacket from Madewell. This is my perfect denim jacket and my black Eileen Fisher trusty rain jacket that is great for those super rainy cold spring days. All right, guys, that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for watching today's video. When you get a second, I would love it if you would comment down below what are some of the pieces that are in heavy rotation in your closets this spring season. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!